come up with a list of standard forces that we'll most likely see during this course. And the forces that we're going to look at in this video are weight, tension, and the spring force. Weight is just the force of gravity acting on an object. So whenever you have an object, there's the weight is always directed straight down in the Y on an object. And this is the result of gravity pulling it down. So weight always works down. If the object's up in the air, the weight of the object is still straight down towards the ground. If your object is sitting on the ground, it still has weight acting straight down. If your object is sitting on an inclined plane, weight is still acting straight down. Weight is a vector quantity, which is the force of gravity acting on it and it always acts straight down. Weight. <clears throat> we give it the symbol, it gets the symbol W, or sometimes you'll see FG or FW. So those are usually the general symbols that you'll see with weight. Your book uses the W. The next force is called tension, and tension this is a force in a rope, strain, chain, something that you connect with some type of cable to an object and then you pull on that, this, this rope, strain, chain, cable, whatever you want to call, and you pull on it and then it exerts a force on an object. So an example of this is you attach a rope to a crate and then you pull on the cave on the rope. Now what happens is if you you know you zoom in on the atomic level, all the little atoms kind of get stretched a little bit, and during that stretching, they pull so down from this end to this end there's tension because you're pulling on all the atoms. And then all these atoms, so you're pulling here, but because of all the atoms being stretched a little bit, the box experiences the same tension at this end of the rope that's at this end. So the tension is always in a taut rope. The tension is the same everywhere. When you pull on this end of the rope, if it's taut, then this end of the rope experiences the tension, so the box experiences a pull this way, and that's the tension in a rope. And it always acts in the direction of the rope. If you're pulling the rope this way, the tension is whatever directed at the angle. So if I'm standing over here, this is what I'm trying to get at, and I attach a rope and start pulling up on the rope, the tension on this object from the rope is up at that angle. And then we'd have to worry about breaking this into our X and Y components. Now the tension gets the symbol, either capital T is the most known that you'll see, or you'll see sometimes an FT for tension. But tension is, is a force that's applied because of some rope, string, chain, cable connection that you can pull on and then you can apply that tension. And it works along the direction of the rope or chain or string cable. And so if you pull up at an angle, you have to break that into its respective components. The book uses the letter T for that. The last one is a spring force. Forces you see arise in things like springs or elastic systems. And this is a we'll use it's like a responsive force. And the idea is that the more you get compressed, the more the spring gets compressed, the harder it pushes back. And the spring force, it'll get the letter F with an SP for force of a spring. If you have your spring attached to something, let's say you pull the force of your, you're pulling on your object, the force of the spring is the other way. If the spring is extending, so if, you're, if you extend a spring, the force of the spring is backwards, right? Because the spring wants to return back. 
And if you take a spring, and this time you push on the spring, so let's say you compress the spring, so you push, then the force of the spring is back away from you. So the force of the spring depends on whether it's compressed or pulled. If it's pulled, the spring wants to go back to its original position. If the spring is pushed and it's compressed, then it wants to return to its natural position and it's trying to fight back. So this is why when you sit on your bed, you compress the springs and then the spring will you know, push, you push back up on you because you're pushing it down. Or if you stretch a spring, the spring, when you let it go, goes back because the spring wants to return back to where it started from. So these are our first three forces. We have weight, which is the force of gravity, the little w, tension, which is capital T, it's the force in the rope string chain cable, and then a spring force, which is kind of like a response or, or what's called a restoring force, and it always works to go back to where it started from.